Now, we go into the politics of Zamfara State, where the People's Democratic Party, PDP, says former governor of Zamfara State, Abdulaziz Yari, Senator Kabiru Marafa, and other top APC members mm -hmm. have defected to the People's Democratic Party, PDP. The chairman of the PDP in uh, Zamfara State on Sunday in Guzo, after a state working committee meeting, says that uh, con that Colonel Bala Mande says that the party has received uh, governor, former Governor Yari and Senator Marafa and other top APC members who have joined the party together with their supporters. They are only waiting to be formally welcomed to welcome them into the PDP. Let's take a listen to uh, Colonel Mande, the chairman of the PDP in Zamfara State. The essence of this meeting today is to give an update to our stakeholders um, on the joining of our party by former governor, His Excellency, al Haj Abdulaziz Yari Abubakar, and his group who have joined us from APC to the PDP. I have given the stakeholders um, a complete update of where we are. They have joined us we have reached an agreement and we are going to implement the agreement. So our party has been boosted in strength by their joining us. All the groups, all the people that are in his group, they are joining. Peter Colonel Bala Mande, the PDP chairman in Zamfara State. Is it true that Senator Marafa has joined the PDP and as well as uh, Governor Abdulaziz Yari with their supporters moving away from the APC. How true is that story? It was all over the place yesterday from what the PDP chairman has said. But tonight, we'll be hearing from the horse's mouth if there's anything like that. Senator Kabiru Marafa will be joining us tonight. He's already with me, but we need to take a break. And when we come back, we'll be hearing from Senator Marafa why himself and former governor Yari wants to dump the APC for the PDP. There are some crises that we are not aware of. So with affect everyone, we we'll right back. Let me give you some context into our next discussion in the program. Zamfara State is particularly very interesting. If you remember in 2019, there was an infighting, a legal logjam, so much that the party APC lost Zamfara State, uh, an election where they had higher vote, but that those vote, about 500,000 of the, those votes were, uh, were, were thrown into the trash can because of the internal issues uh, before the election and during the election in the APC. Senator Marafa was one of those who were aggrieved about what was happening himself and uh, the former Governor Yari. At some point, uh, when uh, Governor Matawale of the PDP at the time was sworn in, later is moved from the PDP to the APC. Now, those whom he left uh, or he, he came to meet in the APC, we are now hearing that they are leaving him in the APC to go back to where Governor Matawale has been is coming from there seems to be some you might be lo looking confused there all right well let me get you some clarity senator kabiru marafa joins us here in the studio thank you so much senator for joining us thank you my, first and foremost thank, thank you my brother uh, thank you so much for uh, creating time i know this is your prayer time but thank you so much for making time to clarify yeah. this all issues. is welcome first and foremost have you left the apc no so is that true what Colonel Mandy said well, uh, I have the privilege of uh, <clears throat> listening to him now, uh, and uh, uh, I think maybe he got some mixed up somewhere. Uh, the truth of the matter is we are discussing with PDP. There is no doubt about that. And How long have you been discussing with them? Uh, well, let me say for a very long time, because uh, they approached us quite a few months back, maybe six months or more, 
That was even before, shortly after Governor Matawali defected? Not shortly. You know, Matawali now is almost a year, maybe, in the party. Almost, maybe nine, ten months now. I think it was, he came somewhere June, maybe July, I don't know. Uh, but uh, we started this thing maybe some five months ago or so. <clears throat> and uh, it now crystallizes into very serious talks, you know, in the last uh, few uh, weeks after the release of INEC timetable and so on and so forth. And uh, it was intensified, you know, and uh, leading to both groups setting up committees now to sit together. So we set up a committee that uh, met with uh, uh, the PDP and they set up a committee and they sat together, you know, the highest uh, uh, administrative mercenary of the party was involved into it. And uh, we asked them to go and look at all the gray areas, all the problems, all the prospects, you know, and uh, to represent us in uh, the true sense of representation, our character, who we are and what we stand for, and our experiences. And this is what we said. And uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, the committee just brief the main committee that set them off just yesterday, I think. So for somebody anywhere to say that we have moved, I think uh, uh, I can, I can forgive my senior brother, Colonel Balam, and maybe he is overjoyous. Maybe uh, you know the position of PDP in the Amfara State. And uh, uh, having a block like ours uh, joining the party, you know, might be a source of, you know, uh, excitement or something. But fact of the matter is, we have not joined yet. We are still uh, talking. We have all the options on our table. Now. Okay. So before now, uh, you had the Marafa block in the APC. You had the Yari block. But when Governor Matawale joined, he brought with himself some people from the PDP, supporters in the PDP. So you have now the Matawale block, the Marafa block, the Yari block. Uh, the Yari and the Marafa block were never, were not together. They were, you were not in sync. In fact, you were at loggerheads before the election. But it does look now that you are, you are on, on, the, on the same page, singing from the same hymn book, isn't it? I think we have discussed this uh, even in this studio, uh, Mr. Sheung. Uh What happened between me and Yari was total failure of leadership in the APC at that time that refused to do what they were supposed to do because party is supreme to any politician because the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria makes it mandatory for anybody wishing to contest any election to do it under the platform of a political party. We don't have independent candidates in Nigeria. Therefore, once you agree to be a party member, then you have to subject or submit yourself you know, to the rules and uh, regulations of that party. So if the party had done what they were supposed to do, that is calling everybody on the table to say, look, what is happening between you, my children? What is it? Yes, state your own, state your own, state your own. Okay, we have heard you now. And this is what we said that should be done. I'm sure it would have, been, it would have happened. Now, the party became so reluctant to do that. Uh, it's to us, it, it is like we are happy with what is happening in Zamfara, kind of. Now, what happened happened. We lost out completely. Then, shortly after losing out, the party woke up from its slumber. Now, and they now invited uh, everybody. And like I said, when you are having a problem in your house and your father decided to invite the two of you, if any one of the children says he's not coming, what is the consequence? You leave the house. So there is nobody the party will invite, and he or she have been uh, believing that he's a member of that party and will say, no, I will not come. So uh, the uh, outgone leadership now invited all of us to say that, look, come over, let's discuss. That's the Buni-led The buni led Committee. committee. Okay. Now they invited us, I think uh, somewhere in February 2020 or thereabout, I can't remember, or oh, 2021. I think it was last, no, 2020, I think. Now they invited us, sat us down, heard from all the parties, and now said that, look, enough of this fight. Please, we want you to be one team. We have lost out the state, but looking at your strength and everything, we know that uh, it's just a question of another election. We will win back our state back, uh, 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 in the folds of APC. So please, we are appealing to you. Bury your hatchet, come together, work together, and uh, forge ahead. Let's see what we have, uh, uh, how we are going to uh, face 2023. We all agreed. We don't have personal problems, me and Yari. Personal, we don't have. There was political disagreement, and we disagreed, 
and we all fought to the end, okay? So now it is over. We all have the experience, and we now decided to put the experience behind us. Now, shortly after that, now the party again went back to say that, okay, uh, we know that uh, uh, before now, uh, we relied on God, you know, for success and you people that God has given us. But now we want governors. It is only governors that can bring about success to APC. That is, uh, in short, what the Bunled caretaker, you know, did at that time. So you were shut out. Yeah, well, so, of the so now, of the yes, of from, the running, from nowhere, your, 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 yes, we were told your block that, yes, that of Governor Yari yes, exactly, was shut out. Exactly. As soon as the governor entered into now, the Now, from nowhere, they called us and said that the governor is desirous of joining the party. We said, fine, I'm good, because party, you cannot stop anybody from joining party. But after joining, we now said, okay, before joining, we need to look at this. He owns the government machinery in his hands. We own the party. Whether you like us or not, the party, we built the party. It is our property. So let us sit down and see how can we share, you know, what we have, uh, the two of us. The party went, you know, I mean, throw caution to the wind, you know, and just went to Gusau and said, we have dissolved the party and handed over the party, <laughs> you know, to the governor. In disobedient to the constitution of the party itself. They made a three-man caretaker committee, which was illegal, do everything. And that, is, that was the beginning of the problem. So now, with the governor family in control, you know, uh, seeing the powers that uh, uh, be in Abuja, you know, are in support of him. Now he took over the party, and uh, we cried, we talked, we, okay, politics is game of number. Let us hold on to our people. Let us sit down and see. And uh, you see, the beauty of life is, when somebody is closing a door behind you or uh, before you, another person is opening another door. So other political parties started rolling red carpet, in fact. Red carpet for us. Come over, come over. We said, no, look, we are not quitters. Okay? You can't hit us and just, we say, we run away and say, no. You hit us, we hit you back. So we said we are going to fight the, the, the Mala led committee, the Memalhua uh, led committee to the end. And uh, we went to court and do everything. And the rest is now history. Everybody knows what Okay, so the main Malabune is out of office now. Now. There's a new dispensation. There is exactly, Abdullah Adamu dispensation. Exactly, exactly. Have you, uh, have, has your block been able to meet with the new leadership of the APC and WC on this matter? Or you have just uh, no, no. lost hope Maybe, in the process? No, 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 no. no. The, well, now, the, the thing is, is the reverse. Now, we have been, we have been heavily brutalized by the party. Let me use the word. Brutalized under by the, the party. Under the under the, under the, the Memala Committee. And as a people, we say, okay, fine. We are not quitters. We are not going anywhere. We are going to remain here. And we are going to fight you. And we are going to fight you to the end. Okay? Now, when, by the special grace of God, they were disgraced out of office and they left, and there is a new leadership. Now, we felt the onus is on the leadership to now look and say, okay, what did we inherit? And uh, thank God the people that uh, came on board are not new. They are not from the moon. They are part of the system, so they know everything. So, and uh, I think they have extended an olive branch already, but not to me. But Governor Yad fully briefed me that uh, the Abdullah Adam led uh, NWC now, that is the leadership of the party, has uh, invited him uh, for a meeting, and uh, I think they have the, the first one. And I think the party also made some offers and so on and so forth. So he briefed me fully on that. And uh, that is one of the options. And uh, some of the smaller parties also, uh, uh, has, uh, they have availed you know, their platform uh, to us <laughs> to contest uh, whatever we want to contest. In fact, everything about the party. So we have all the four options, I think, about four or five of them. You know, we have everything on the table. Uh, and uh, it is left to, you know, politics is about people. It's not an individual thing. Uh, if it were just about me or Yari himself, I'm sure it's a decision that you can take within five minutes. So, but let, let me ask you uh, directly now. Should the party give you what you want? And I'd like to know what exactly that is. Would you change your mind from going to the PDP? <laughs> sure, you see, this is a $1 billion question. You see, <clears throat> A lot of things has happened in the APC. Let me be very, very frank with you. And uh, we felt 
the Mehmala led NWC, or well, it was not NWC, the Mehmala led uh, leadership has inflicted serious injuries on the APC. It will take a little time for people to realize it. I have said it even before you in this program several times that if APC is not careful, now it could, the injuries inflicted on it could lead to its extinction. So as a politician or as politicians, we need to sit down and look at everything, you know, uh, pragmatically and uh, analyze. I'm a politician. I am leading people, multitude of people. Now, can I just entrust everything, you know, their fate and everything in a sinking ship? So we have to decide, is this platform really okay? Can it take us to our uh, desired destination? Are these injuries curable? Can we, in every sense of it, say that we can scale all these things? Because it is one thing to be in the APC. It is quite another to be in Nigeria. When you come to the Nigerian platform, now, Nigeria doesn't belong to APC or to any political party. So when the chips are down, you know, justice would be uh, 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 dispensed, you know, as it is, not because you are APC or you are PDP. So we need to look at everything. We, look, we, need, we need to scrutinize PDP itself, the party that this is part of the reasons that uh, I am now telling you that uh, when somebody says we have just entered, we cannot just enter a political party like that. So who is PDP? We look at PDP. What is PDP up to? Are they, are they, uh, are they prepared today to take over power? Because politics is all about taking power. All right. Senator, yes. yeah, I'd like to ask a quick question because uh, to get to, to the point so that our viewers can understand. So you have not made up your mind to move yet? Not, not yes. yet. Yes, not yet, now. But should the party do the right thing to you, you will, not, you will still stay in the APC? No, get me right. Yeah, get me right. We are looking at all the options. APC, so it's not as PDP, you will not leave. Yes, but our, we have reached an advanced stage of leaving PDP. Yes. So we are, the, the only problem here is the word that they have joined. No, we have not joined yet. Oh, yeah, because process, if we you are, are one process, leg out of APC and one leg in PDP. Well, we don't, have, we don't need to be one leg. We are fully sitting here, and it is just a question of just crossing. crossing the so the I don't side. even need to, do, 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 because we are, not, uh, we are not used to splitting our legs. I'm not that kind of All right, so is it possible yes. that you, you, are, you are going to finalize your movement very before, soon. before the primaries? Yes, maybe, very soon. It, it all depends on, you see, we have been, we have been thoroughly bashed. So it is only reasonable now that we take our time and take quality decisions. All right. So yes. another question I will ask is, is this about money and sharing? How, how do you mean? I don't understand. That, you are, where is that the money? you are not happy. Where is the money? By saying in the APC. Where is the money in the APC? Why are you... APC has why, been... Let me, let me tell you. Let me tell you. And you say APC, that... APC has been so unfair to the people of Zamfara State, so much so that now upon all the contributions we have made everywhere and all of us, APC didn't give us almost nothing. What do we have? So where is the money to share? Who is holding any position of sharing? Who, who? Nobody, nothing. I think we have only some few slots of, uh, I think, uh, commissioner, federal commissioner of, uh, what do you call it, MPC, if there is money in population commission, I think. And uh, we have another one in federal character, and, uh, and who again? So what did the APC? Uh, <laughs> so what, what, what would you say is your major grievance? Because you just summarize it as being bashed. But what exactly? Bash is, is, is when somebody comes. Sharon, do you know what it means for somebody to come and eject you from your house, the house that you have sweated to build? Huh? Take your wives, take your children, take everything, and uh, donate everything to somebody else. So you your know? grievance is not against Governor Matawale? No, 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 no. We have nothing to do, nothing against Matawale. Nothing. Matawale is just, uh, 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 you know, uh, a tool, maybe in the hands of uh, the, 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 the former leadership. But we will have no problem with Matawale again, at all. Our grievance is with the Mala-led 
uh, 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 committee because, because he has they since had left. That that was, he is not that he has since left, has left. But, but, but the foundation he has led for APC, you know, it will take all the prayers of APC members, it will take divine. Uh, 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 guidance and uh, this thing for, for, for the Abdullahi Adamu led uh, uh, NWC to succeed because he has led land mines. This man was not ready to quit the state. But his, extension, his intention from the one, their intention was to conduct primaries. Okay, so you, that is why you can see that uh, even during the convention, there was no ballot paper. You know, when Adams of Shimoli uh, came on board, he came through consensus, but there was balloting. People voted for, my, uh, for, for, who do you, uh, for Oshimole. But during Abdullah Adamus uh, voted, did you see any vote? The, answer, the reason is the, 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 the CECPC were not ready to conduct any uh, convention. If not for the intervention of the 19 governors led by uh, Governor uh, El Rufai that, uh, you know, jolted the, 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 the whole process and uh, came out to expose the CECPC then they were forced to now respect the 26th uh, of March date. And uh, things were done horridly, you know, to, <laughs> just to, to, to respect that date. And that is just what happened. So our grievance has always been with the CECPC leadership, and it is still with that body. And we still have that as to grind with them, can, wherever they are. Is there so any, is any possible remedy to make you stay in the APC? Uh, you cannot shut uh, all doors in politics. Yeah, well, like I said, we don't have anything personal. There is nothing. So, but all we are saying is if there is fairness on their side, which I don't see how they can make it, because the injuries are fatal. They, are mortal, you, they have mortally, uh, 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 what do you call it, uh, uh, stabbed the a APC to the extent that you, 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 you never, when you start thinking of it, now how can it happen? All right. So yes. let me ask you, for those who imagine that... Uh, who those who have uh, predicted that after President Buhari's exit out of office, after his uh, tenure as president, there might be, uh, the APC might find it difficult uh, to, to, to stand the test of time when President Buhari leaves office. Is this a signal that uh, those who have said that uh, were right? I can assure you that I am one of those people that uh, think that way. And uh, looking at the happenings, uh, today, I think all pointers, you know, points to that direction. Uh, let me be very frank with you. To me, as a politician, APC today is surviving and thriving because of the failure of the opposition to act correctly and to do the right thing. If they had, 2023 would have been over by now. Yes, take it from me. I'm telling you this. But the, <clears throat> the opposition, especially the PDP, their body language is not quite inspiring. And that is why everybody is like looking from a little distance. What is going to happen? And this is part of the things each and every politician of substance needs to look at before you just jump into. We are not the kind of politicians that we are not uh, political prostitutes that uh, jump from one party to another today, tomorrow, next tomorrow, no. We are forced to take the decisions we are taking now. APC pushed us out. It is not like we want to take ourselves out of APC, no. APC pushed us out. Could this, the, could, yes, could, could the this pushed, yes. more people leaving the APC? Definitely, undoubtedly. I'm just telling you, the only reason why people are not moving out is because the body language of the opposition, you know, is not quite encouraging. They are not doing what they are supposed to do. What could be the implication for 2023 election at a presidential election? Uh, the, the, the implication is, uh, is, 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 is yeah, if, if, if God has... If God gives you or blessed you with something big and uh, you are not grateful to him, what happens next? He takes it out uh, away from you. What does that mean? What it means is God has uh, uh, blessed APC with the country's leadership at a point when a lot of people believed that you cannot beat incumbent. But you God, think, God performed wonders. You think and, the, the APC might not be able to hold on to power in 2023? Yes, it depends on, on, on how the, the, the opposition behaves. 
It depends on that. Because people are not blind. People are not crazy. People want the people want protection, wants to live in peace. People want to prosperity, uh, prosperity. A lot of things. Can't you see what we are facing today? Well, is the APC not able to provide all of that? I, 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 okay, I, I don't know. Maybe the next interview uh, between me and you, I would want you to do it in Zamfara. So we will go to Zamfara together with you. Come over, then I interview me there. Then maybe then you would know what I'm talking about. So, Sean, this is not a laughing matter. This is not a, it's a very serious matter. It's a very serious matter. So uh, we only hope and we pray that uh, we are able to put our act together and do the needful, right. do the right thing. And uh, if that happens, then I think it, the, everybody will be happy and, uh, and, and everything. But as of now, I'm telling you there are a lot of problems. People are not happy. Right. And uh, the last uh, administration of uh, the APC, like I said, have inflicted so much injury. Right. So the Abdullah Adam led uh, leadership today, they have a lot of work to do. But unfortunately for them, they have very, very limited time. So I hope the caliber of people, some of them, I know them, I work with them, and uh, I know their integrity, their capacity. I'm sure they would be able to work day and night right. to see if they can do something. We are but, totally uh, out of time. Yes, they, are, they, they, uh, they need to do uh, how, how do I reference you now? Uh, can I still call you an APC chieftain? Yes, I am. One. Yes, yes, I am. Not one leg in, one leg out. No, 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 no. I don't do one leg in one. I am fully in APC yes, today. Can I we say be, same for Gagabiari? Yes, you, 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 you can take that 100%. For all, right. all our members, all of us are in APC today. Until we and, leave. Uh, and, uh, Until when we formally leave. leave. When we formally leave, we would be the ones to make the announcements by ourselves, not through a proxy. So you are denying what uh, Colin Mandia said. I'm sure, wrong. I'm sure, I'm sure there is, uh, like I said, maybe he was excited. And uh, looking at uh, his picture also, I said, my senior brother is becoming old. I can see <laughs> it. So I don't know what really happened. But uh, the Colonel Balam and that I know very vibrant, very intelligent, very sharp, very focused and everything. You know, it is very difficult when you leave yeah. in the opposition for too long. And uh, as a war <laughs> veteran, I don't know, as a soldier rather, uh, I'm sure maybe something happened. But the actual thing is we have not moved. But uh, all our baggage and everything is ready. Yeah, you know, we at yeah, any point. Ready for point, the journey. Yeah, well, we of can. Defection. Yeah, we can. We Thank can defend so any political party of our choice. Senator Kabiru Marafa. Thank you. Some people are already calling you a warrior. That you are always <laughs> no, 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 always <laughs> battling. No, well, well, that. but thank you so much. Well, for that is that is that is one of the mentoring I would want to leave to the youth uh, that are following us. Yeah, to always stand up for your right. If you know that something is right, say it. All right. If you know that something is right, pursue it. Okay. And uh, to the young man, when I came in, I saw you interviewing. Uh, a young man from Ondo State that is aspiring to be a senator, and I could hear the words of encouragement you are giving. And this is part of what I want to see the youths of today do. I hate the politics we are doing where everybody is just subservient and waiting for an opportunity to take over from his boss and start biting his boss. I am not the kind of politician. Right. I'm not that kind of politician. We're totally out of time, I senator. tell you, yes to your face. If I agree, I agree. And if I don't, I tell you I don't. And whatever happens, Senator Kabiru thank Marafa, so thank you so much. Senator Kabiru Marafa is a chieftain of the APC, <laughs> but with his baggage to go to the PDP. Thank you so Not much. only PDP. <laughs> just my, yes. We are not PDP. Senator. Yeah, well, I can go to any I political know, party. It's I know. Not only One the cannot PDP. just simply tickle you. <laughs> you will just. <laughs> thank you so much for coming, coming on the program. That's our show for today, everyone. <laughs> Many thanks for watching. I'm sure Akimbale. Bye for now. <laughs>